Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Batwoman Season 2. Also, we're going to be talking about the other DC TV shows, including The Flash, Supergirl, Superman, Lois, and more. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so over the weekend, we got our first official piece of footage for any DC TV show, obviously barring The Flash releasing that trailer back at Comic Con, but this is, I'm talking about, brand new footage that has been shot post productions being shut down in March, and so, yeah, we got two official trailers, one came out on Sunday that aired on the CW, but wasn't released online, so I'm not going to include photos of that in this video, but we will be talking about it. However, there is another one that the CW released on their YouTube channel, like a day after or something, a few days ago. We talked about this on my live stream, I reacted live to it, so you can check out that stream that was just two days ago, I believe. And yeah, very exciting, our first piece of DCTV footage, and I thought we had to make a video to break it down. Also, later in the video, we're going to be talking about the other trailers and promos and when we're going to get those. I've mentioned it before, but... Considering that, you know, we've got our first piece, I kind of want to reiterate and talk about some stuff that I haven't talked about. Okay, so yeah, the trailer that was first released was the one on Sunday that aired on the CW, and potentially, along with those other trailers, you may be seeing snippets of the upcoming shows. If you tune into the CW, obviously you need to be in America to watch it and actually catch those, so please be sure to be on the lookout if you're an American and you have the CW, because that could be coming very soon. However, yes, we got our first piece of footage aired on the CW on the same night Batwoman is supposed to come out. And so what we saw in that trailer, it's like a kind of recap advertising season one. It currently being available for free online. And then the second part of it, obviously going past the Kate Kane, Ruby Rose stuff, moving into the new footage. There was about two shots. And it begins with Travisia Leslie's Ryan Wilder holding up Kate Kane's suit. So she's outside in the city, you can't really make it out because it's at night time. However, she is holding up the suit, so it seems like this is at the point where she finds the Batwoman suit and she dons it for the first time, or she just takes it, then puts it on, and then you get what you get in the next trailer, and we'll get to that in just a moment. So yeah, this is very cool, and over this trailer, over this little promo that they released, you had Javicia Leslie doing the voiceover as Ryan Wilder, being like, you know, you can watch the first season right now in preparation for January 17th when you're going to be getting the season 2 premiere of Batwoman. And so then we move on to the next shot and this shot is just, you know, a different angle. It's from in front of her and you get to see her reaction to the Batwoman suit and then it cuts to the final shot of the trailer and it's Lisa Leslie as Batwoman hanging down from the sky. No idea how they did this. Obviously I know in real life but I mean like how the hell is she hanging upside down? I don't know. But anyway, she scares a criminal. It seems like this is pretty early days for her because this is only going to be footage from probably episode 1 considering she's just finding that suit for the first time and I'm guessing she's going out and doing some superheroing. But I don't know how she actually gets the skills. I'm pretty sure she's already skilled enough, they said in the synopsis, but I don't know why she would just, you know, find the suit and be like, oh yeah, I want to be a superhero. So we're going to have to wait and see as to the reasoning. However, let's move on to the next trailer that they released, and this one, I can actually show the images. So to begin, we have this bathroom, and it's very dirty, very horrible, and in the middle of the bathroom, you have Ryan Wilder, who is taking the bat suit out of a duffel bag. And so yeah, you're in this wide shot, then they cut in closer, and you see the duffel bag, and she's actually taking it out. And then it cuts to this, where she's taking it out of the bag, and she's pulled out the suit, and this is probably, like I said early on in episode 1, like maybe towards the end of the episode, maybe she suits up for the first time, and she's in this toilet. I think the idea of the toilet is to say, oh, she's just getting started, she's literally just found the suit, and she's still not at the point where she's like a proper superhero, where she has a bat cave and everything, and she can suit up there, rather than suiting up in a toilet. So yeah, I think it's pretty funny, but at the same time it's very cool, this kind of suit up montage as you get her zipping up the boots at the back, and then you go to the cooler shot of all the promotions and you see Javicia Leslie as Ryan Wilder, obviously without the cowl on, and she's got Kate Kane's suit on at this point, and 
I think it looks really, really cool. And it's very exciting to see her actually holding out the cow and the wig. I think it's a good nod to season one that they haven't just completely forgot about it. Obviously, this is just a start. This is one of her first times suiting up as Batwoman. But it's sort of like in reference to season one saying, oh yeah, Kate Kane didn't just disappear and without reason. You know, there is some sort of reason, but she just left the Batwoman suit behind. She left her persona behind. Now she is somewhere else, obviously this is going to be an ongoing mystery throughout this whole season. And then you have, you know, actually a new person taking up the mantle by finding her suit. I think that's cool. So yeah, I love this shot. I think it's very cool. And then we cut into a closer shot where we see her eyes and she's got the mask over her head now. And she says, time to be powerful. So great ending. And so, yeah. Batwoman Season 2 is coming out Sunday, January 17th. It's going to be airing every Sunday. I'm guessing they're going to have some sort of break about mid-season, where they can split up the 19 episodes that they are going to film, and they are set to film for Season 2. Looking forward to this new iteration of Batwoman. I think it's very intriguing, because we never had this with any of our Arrowverse shows before. So, yes. Now let's move on to what I wanted to talk about next, and this is in regards to when we're going to see those other Arrowverse shows drop their trailers for the first time and their promotional material. So we've mentioned it before, but now that we've got our first official look at one of our DC TV shows, now we have to start questioning when are these other shows going to start dropping our first looks. So we've seen set photos, we've seen the leaks behind the scenes, and there are multiple leaks I need to talk about over the next few days which are now questionable considering some new updates from our shows. However, talking about the trailers and the promotional material, with Batwoman dropping their first look in November, which we suspected they would, they always try and drop something, you know, just about two months before they released new seasons or a new show or anything like that. So we were suspecting that the other shows were going to delay their promotional releases until later in maybe December. Compared to our original thoughts that all of the shows were going to release their first looks in November, definitely along with Batwoman because Batwoman started first and they are at least five episodes in I believe right now. So they have the most footage so of course we were going to get footage. And also the fact that Batwoman is actually premiering first is the first DC TV show to return. January 17th and then you have Black Lightning at the start of February that's going to be its final season and then we move on to later in February and we have Superman and Lois coming out the same day as The Flash so the reason you're not seeing Superman and Lois and The Flash getting any promotional material sometime in November is because they got delayed they got delayed by over a month because the original statement you know, when they first announced that the shows weren't coming back in October, said that our shows would return in January, the ones that were scheduled to. But then, I've mentioned this quite a few times, Superman and Lois, they're behind on filming, and they had to push it back, and that's why they want to push back The Flash as well, because they want them to premiere at the same time, because they think they're going to have a similar audience. And so now, potentially, we may be getting those trailers sometime in December, I would say Black Lightning we're definitely going to get before The Flash and Superman and Lois, and that is obviously due to an earlier release date, literally, you know, right into February at the start, so sometime in December definitely for Black Lightning. In terms of The Flash and Superman and Lois, it could be December, most likely it's going to be January, however. At the start of January, maybe at the start of the new year, we'll get our first look at The Flash, unless they do what they did with Batwoman, where they released like a small little snippet, small little sneak peek sometime in the CW schedule, or they do a tiny trailer online before in December to get people hyped for the new year. I think that would be the smarter idea to go down, the smarter path to release something in December and remind people, oh, Superman and Lois is coming next year in February and we have The Flash coming back as well. So along with those, we should be expecting posters, images, synopsises. So there is a lot to look forward to and obviously Stargirl, Supergirl, Legends, we're not going to get for a while longer, at least like until March or something or possibly April, I would say is more likely. Even though they're going to be filming for a while and they have started all filming themselves, we're not going to see official promos for a long time because there's no point in them promoting them right now 
when those shows aren't going to come back until at least May time, probably more likely to come back in June. So that's a long time off and we shouldn't be expecting anything from that. I've told you guys that before but I thought I wanted to reiterate it a little bit at the end of this video. So yeah, what do you guys think of this Batwoman footage? Very excited to see Javicia Leslie as Batwoman in Season 2. It's going to be something very different it seems like. Obviously the showrunner is the same, the cast is mainly the same, but the main character is gone and it's a new main character so that is very intriguing because that's never happened on the shows before. Obviously people have been recast and changed around, never the main character. Also The Flash next season has a similar issue at the start where they have to replace Ralph Dibney and there is going to be a goodbye scene but it's not going to be Hartley Sawyer, they're going to use his shape-shifting powers and so I guess they have a similar dilemma here. Obviously they're literally recasting for Ralph so it's a bit different than Travisia taking over from Ruby because they're completely different characters although they are both the main character and they share the Batwoman title. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It really helps out to support the channel. Also, please be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos. Check out my recent videos as well because there is a lot on the channel that you can go back and watch if you missed any of those. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.